And all this is because of April choking. Oh, I don't know. Because I, th I thought we were fine. I thought we were making plans for us here. OK, not just that, other things as well. The emotional blackmail. Her constantly putting pressure on me to be a mum. It's smothering. Which is why I told April we should take it slow, but you told her you wanted to be her mum. I couldn't say no, could I? It's a pressure. I know that. And I love that you take it seriously, but you can do what this, What if I don't want to do it? That, that kid ain't even mine. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm fond of her, but... Fond? I know she is desperate for a mum. In fact, it's a pity it didn't work out with you and Laurel because she'd make a better job of it than I am. She was an alcoholic. Look, I'm just telling you how it is. All right, this is me. And I am sick of pretending to be something that I'm not. OK, I'm still young. I've got possibilities and opportunities. I told you that. I supported you in going for the job I don't the want your support, place. Marlon. I want to do this on my own with no ties to anybody. Which is why you nearly got married five times. Whatever, Marlon. You don't have to believe me. I'm just trying to be straight with you. When are you going to tell April? I started writing a letter. Everything I wrote down, I just came across bad. I mean, what kind of cow walks out on a kid? This one, Marlon, you're looking right at her. So that's it? And you're throwing us over for a bunch of lashed-up tourists? Yep. Yeah. Pretty much sums it up. Then there's nothing else to say.